everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution and I have just realized that on the starter island I have not actually finished all of my missions and I could get a lot of money for um, acquiring the Triceratops genome so I'm just going to quickly take that. I already have, um, so let's get started. I can already do this, I just need to really quickly incubate. Together we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs the triceratops in fact complete genome and i think you are up to the challenge right let's just make sure that my carnival gate is shut yeah it is so i can release this one i believe i may be on the cusp of something and let's just see if that's enough or whether i need to quickly incubate another one now we need to incubate, hatch, and house I didn't realise that I could take those missions from that screen, so... Our new Done! Sorry, dinosaurs. Are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words... I would have done that ages ago if I'd realized how to take it. Is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I'll just quickly open the gate and let them in. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment. Okay, so suddenly, like, all these, like, science missions are just opening up. discuss this with her later. See, research item from research center. Ha hookworm parasite. Incubate and release a triceratops with 70% genome and all this sort of thing. So, I'm like, oh, do I want the new island or do I want to do all these quests? But I think that these... Are all these quests the main quest? I'll close the gate quickly and then we'll have a quick look at it. I don't think it's going to take me too long to finish that off. And I'm glad that I noticed that I hadn't done a main quest. So that would have been really bad. Okay, so. Incubate and release Triceratops for 70% genome. I'm just going to have a quick look and see if that is the main quest still. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? What am I even doing? I need the bit with all the... Contracts on it. There we are. All oh, right. So yeah, we do need to do all of this. This is like a big multi-part mission. So we need to work on the Triceratops's um, genome. Unfortunately, now everyone's getting ill because I thought oh, I can just leave everything. Mm. And now I've got more to do. That's annoying. Okay, so let's go to the ACU center. ACU helicopter. Um, add task. And I believe we just need to go and pick up. I think there's a dead dino to pick up. Or did we already pick up all the dead dinos? We must have done already. Okay. In that case, we need the rangers to come and... Uh, ranger team... One, go and medicate the dinosaurs. We need to be medicated. Task received. There's one on low health as well. Who who else is ill? I can't see the other ill dinosaur over there. To pump. Confirming task. And then medicate to pump. There we are. So we'll see if we can get them sorted out. And then hopefully they'll just... I'll just have a quick look at how they're doing. So health 83%. To pomp is down to 41% health. Oh dear. Let's hope the rangers get here soon. Come on rangers. Come and make them feel better. And then I'm going to have a look at this, um, this hookworm parasite. I hope the jeep can go through the water. 
Oh, okay, yes. Oh, it can. That's great. It's a sub, sub water jeep. It's a jeep that goes underwater. They had the common cold. Good grief. Okay, so now I know that my my uh, dinos are okay. I had to check on that and make sure. We can go to the fossil center, and we're going to make sure that we've got triceratops. Uh, I went. I got loads of ceratosaurus genes, so me as well. I don't know if this comes with me, but if it does, then I want as, as viable genomes as possible coming with me to the next island anyway. So, because this one's a really nice island and it's nice and gentle, and I won't have too many problems. Um, so let's go to the expedition map and try and find some more triceratops DNA. Trike. Looks like the only trike one is um, here and here, so I'll get the Draco Rex trike combo bit and we'll try and get the Triceratops up to 70%. Um, don't know. Ceratosaurus is up to 72%, which is amazing as well. I don't know how to see uh, in here. Is it maybe in the ingen database how much of the how much percentage of dinos I have? It just tells me like information about them. It doesn't tell me how much of a percentage I've got. Kind of annoying if I just want to look at it, but I don't have the fossils there. Like maybe maybe in the um in the hatchery, maybe in here I can see. I go to incubate. Oh yeah, we can see in here. That's the best place I think. So at the moment, uh, we do have seventy percent triceratops. So if I incubated one now, then that would be fine. We'll see how that goes. And then research from the research centre the hookworm parasite. I've got another dead dino. They're all dying from old age now, you see. Yes, Caleb is dead now. Go and get him, please. We might need to get a few more struthiomimuses to, to make up for all the ones that have died. Well... Your reputation with the science division is impressive. No, he needs... He needs to... We don't need to tranquilize him, I don't think. He's dead. Oh, it'd be the transport team, isn't it? Like, you've got two different helicopters here, actually, looking at it. You have a transport one and an ACU, so that's for darting them. Silly, she lab. So I need to go and remove. Acknowledging asset hey, lab. Request. Okay, so next thing is, let's see how the Triceratops is doing in here. Just working on it, cool. And let's go and see how the fossils in the fossil center are doing. A little bit more Draco Rex, and then we also have a little bit more Triceratops. And then let's have a look at the research and see if we can get this hookworm thing done. So, medical treatment hookworm. Perfect. Okay, release. I'm hoping this will count as 70% because I have modified the genome a little bit. So that might not count. We'll have to see. Extra triceratops never hurts. I'll unmodify it if I need to. Yay! Oh no, it, uh, yep, all done. All done. Cure the Triceratops using a Ranger team. Oh, so it's going to purposely give me an ill Triceratops now, is it? Cool, cool, cool. That's what I need. So we go to Ranger Station, Ranger Team 1, at dusk. Reboot a sabotage building. Oh, okay. 
adding task. Hopefully I don't have any of that. How are the feeders doing for resupply? So there's nothing left in that live bait feeder over there. That's the last goat in there apparently. Herbivore feeders still have a little bit left. So after they've done the medication, I think they need to go and resupply. The live bait feeder. Because we don't want angry, angry um, carnivores. That's the last thing we need. I'm just going to open this gate so that uh, my new triceratops can come out. So that's getting medicated now. So I'm going to give the ranger team... Um... Okay, I'll wait for them. I have to wait for them to come back, I think. Oh, here we go. Transmission. Prehistoric life is done. One million. Cardio strength two now available. I've done it. Fabulous. Long path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. Okay, so we've done the main missions now, which is good. And fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I Oh, Dr. Wu, you're so evil. So yeah, just have to spend 10 minutes finishing that mission off. Um, and I think now we are going to... Go to the next island because I want to see how that's doing. So we've we've done quite a bit here. We don't have very good reputation with the entertainment section and things like that. So I do need to request more contracts and things from them when we get to the next island. Um, island Nubar unlocked at four stars. All oh, right, so I can unlock another island by being four stars on this island. Ooh. See now I want to stay here more. Oh, good grief. Maybe I do need to stay until this one's five stars. Sorry guys, I keep saying like, I'll do this, I'll do that, and then things keep changing. But I suppose that's life, isn't it? In life, things keep changing. So Ranger Team 1, I would like you to go and resupply some feeders for me, please. Lots. En route to feeder. Setting additional task. So they can do two tasks. Okay, cool, that's fine. Get two of the feeders done. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I've just realised this gate is open. I'm hoping these guys don't just run in. It only opens for a very short time, so I'm hoping they don't just make a run for it. No, 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 don't go in there, don't go in there. That's death, that is death in there. Will you just get out of that bit, please? Thank you. There's like four of them in there right now. They just love to dice with death, don't they? You just stay in there. It's fine, guys. It's fine. You just stay there. There we go. Let's see how happy they are with their general life, like, in here. Are they are they all right with their population? They're, they're, right, they're social. If I put too many more in there, they're going to be a bit annoyed, I think. They're not worried about the, the population, so what... what? What causes social? Is that too many of the same species? I'm not entirely sure what that means. Small social groups alongside a modest number of dinos from other species. Alright, so if I give them more than two, 
then they might be a bit annoyed. So I think if I'm going to have more of them, they need to be in a different pen to each other. Okay, Jessica's dead now. Oh, I, I'm going to lose track of all these dinos. They die really fast. I think it's because the Struthiomimuses don't have a very long lifespan. So I might just have a couple of those around, but mostly have more, like... I don't know, other things. They're like 56 lifespan on Buttercup, but Buttercup is still not like very long lived. So let's go get the transport team and then they need to go and take those two dinosaurs away. I don't know if I can tell them to do two. Hope I can. But they are all dying really fast now. It's, it's a shame. Poor Jessica. And poor Zangiri. Bye bye. Okay, so I need to increase a new genome to 60%. Seriously, Ixius2, get out of there. I want to close the gate. Come on. You're such a stubborn dinosaur. Asset has been collected. Transportation underway. Get your butt out of there. Oh, no, Tris Waller, no. No, no, no. Get out of there. I'm going to close that gate. Usually the dinosaurs go away if you close the gate. I'll start closing the gate, so that's good. A bit like Tilly when I close the garage door. She is so scared. You've never seen it, a cat so scared in your life as when I shut the garage door because it like it's quite loud. It's like one of these ones that just drops down um, with a remote control, and she hates it. So that feed is good. I think this is telling me a feeder needs to be done. I would prefer it if I could hover over it and see that. But yeah, that's it's telling me all the things that are wrong with the park, basically. So we need to get the ranger station to come over here. And just resupply the feeder quickly. So I'll just I'll let them do that on their own. The gates are all in the right positions again, so that's good. Okay, so uh, next thing I need to increase a new genome to 60%. So let's see how many fossils we have. And send another expedition out if we don't have any, which we don't. In fact, I need to know which one is the closest to 60% so that I can do this. So let's have a little look in the hatching bay. Well, to be honest, everything is at 60%, so that's a bit of a pain. It's Draco Rex we're going to need to get to 60%. Oh, there's more dead dinosaurs. Long Seriously? Lie, and yours are exceptional. Yay! We're still only at like three and a half though. I need to get to four. I don't know how to do that. I don't know whether going to another island would help. Whether this one gets saved. I, I imagine I lose progress on this one when the next one is saved. So yeah, we definitely need to go on an expedition to Draco Rex land. Which is over here. See if we can get Draco Rex to 60%. And then I'm going to have a look at what we can do to help the, the park be better, basically. Facility rating is still 4.5. Food rating and drink rating have gone up. The fun rating is still a bit low. What can we do for fun, then? I mean, I'm thinking that possibly it might be difficult to get 4 stars on this island. Not sure. Like, dino rating is definitely the one to work on, though, isn't it? Because if I can get the dino rating up to four stars. Okay, welfare, 14 dinosaurs. We need more dinosaurs, definitely. The welfare is a problem because they keep dying, and uh, so then I need to go pick them all up. Choosing the wrong darned helicopter. I need the transport one. Transport helicopter. 
Unit requiring collection. So yeah, let's have a look at everyone's welfare and see how they're doing. Is it just the fact that there's dead stuff around that's making them uncomfortable? They've got enough food, they've got enough water, comfort, grassland, forest, population, social. It's all fine. You might find that the Struthiomimuses are starting to get a little bit unhappy because they don't have any friends. All their friends are dying. Do we even have any Struthiomimuses left? They all seem to be dying. I, I don't know. I think there are some around. I'm going to, like, just make a whole bunch more. There we go. Photograph a dinosaur eating from a feeder. And apply the inventory space upgrade to a fossil center. Ah, oh, right, okay. Let's do that then. Upgrades. Inventory space. Bye. Space. Everywhere I look, I see new buildings. Looks like you were on top of it. Yeah, so everyone's telling me I'm doing great, but I still don't really have that fourth star. That would allow me to like unlock a load more stuff. I just need more dinosaurs. Okay, that's fine. If you ever want to build a situation where these animals will truly trust you, then there are times when you have to let them run free. Even when that means they want to kill. Because that's what they need to do. Owen, seriously, shut up. I'm not going to let them run free and kill stuff just so that they feel a bit happier. <laughs> what are you on? Seriously, dude. Okay, so you can be Jessica too. Because I'm sure I remember Jessica dying at some point. Jessica 2. In fact, I'm not even going to like call them Jessica 2 or anything. I'm just going to just reuse the names, I think. That's another Jessica. Zangiri also died, I think. And so did Naniog. Zangiri, you're going to get like an, uh, an upgraded, awesome Struthia Mimax. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Okay, so. You can be Zang. Lovely stuff. We have much else money, so I don't see why we can't just like make a whole bunch of these guys. Poor little herd of them. Because we've lost quite a few. So I need to just constantly keep incubating them. I'm just going to keep them in here for now. Right, so I'll just open this gate because I'm making tons of these guys, so I'll just open the gate. Okay, so let's have a look at the fossil center and see if we've got any more fossils yet. We do, we've got some nice uh, Draco Rex ones, which is just what I wanted. Amazing. I'll send, send them across to that area again. I'm hoping that there's enough DNA in that spot that I can get a full Draco Rex. Oh, I've got a new uh, fossil discovered. Oh, fantastic. That's just D Draco Rex and it's a bit cheaper to go to as well. Great. So I want to get the Draco Rex genome all the way up to 60% if I can. How are these guys feeling? Oh, they're ready for release. Nice. Just want to try and get the island to four stars and then hopefully we'll be able to do that other island, which will be amazing. 
As I say, it might be really difficult because there's going to be other things that unlock in some of the other islands that mean that I can do research and get restaurants and things like that and that'll help a lot. But I think really it's the dinos, isn't it, at the moment that are holding me back. I can't believe I'm still on this island though. Release your friend and then I'll make some more. I might make some more triceratops. They had Montesaurus, they seem to have quite a few of those, so I think they're okay. Let's have a quick look. The Street of Um How are you doing for your social? You could still have quite a lot more of you for your social group. How about the Edmontosauruses? They're in the middle again. Because I could end up overcrowding them, but they seem to be fairly happy. Right. I don't think that the Triceratops are going to be too happy with the population getting any larger. So I may need to move them. I might need to track them and move them into their own new pen. Let's have a look at my dinosaur like overall like ratings and stuff. Oh no, that's finance. Sorry, I don't want that. Finance is fine. See, my dinosaur rating, I still don't have enough of them. So I think that what we do need to do at this point, we've been fine up until now. Absolutely fine up until now. These guys could go into a much smaller pen. Yeah, I think I think at this point we want to make a new pen and we want to move the carnivores over to that new pen. So I'm going to do basically what Avak did and use this area over here because it's it's the it's the cleanest, clearest area around the place. And it seems fairly now. Can I can I get rid of trees and stuff? No. Okay. Um. Must be a way to like deforest, remove. Aha! There we are. So we just deforest the place a bit. Get rid of all these shrubs and stuff. They won't need those. Become a nice big pen. They don't need actually a huge, massive pen. I think I just dug all the birds in the trees and stuff. But we've got a nice big area over here where we can put a pen if we want. Um, no. See how it's gone over here. I think you need to have a path kind of... Oh, it doesn't even need to go all the way up to the pen in, like entrance either. I could put things like viewing galleries and stuff along, along here. I could uh, just quickly remove the trees here. Just to allow the path to be... Uh, Expanded. Cheap narrow path. Fancy narrow path. Fancy wide path. Alright, oh, okay. I'll carry on with the cheap narrow path, seems as that's what we've got now already. So how do I curve it? Is it control? Space to toggle curved. Alright, okay. Not really the kind of curved I wanted, but oh well. There we are, that would do. Okay, so now I want lots and lots of uh, water and also some fencing. So I, I believe that eventually I can get electric fencing or something. Viewing platform, viewing gallery, okay. So I just need normal fencing, don't I? So let's just pop in a whole bunch of fences. Again, we can toggle curved. I see. So 
can curve the fences around. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that actually. Give it a nice big curvy pen. That's going to be my new dino pen. They will need water, otherwise they will... People like to feel secure. That's our job. This contract enhances our ability to do so. Okay, that's great. I'm making I'm making my park here. Shush. Each new discovery furthers our understanding. It's valuable work. Take it. Yeah, there's a nice big lake there for them. And I think that they do need a bit of forest as well, so we'll... A little bit of foresty bits over here. There we are, that's a nice pen, huh? Okay, so I need a gate in here, so we'll find somewhere that we can put a nice big gate. Hoping I can just put it there. Yeah, there we are. Lovely. Okay, so now we need to go and tranquilize the carnivores, and then we can take the gate away and make this a massive herbivore pen, and hopefully then the triceratops will be a bit less unhappy about everything and we'll take away we'll demolish the live bait feeder and we'll put another one in there actually i might do that first live bait feeder in here this is a lovely pen for them there we are a little bit of a cost to move these guys but i think it'll be worth it because as i say the triceratops are not going to handle being crammed in the in the, that space with any more dinos at all so they really really are starting to struggle now for space and i'm quite happy to give them some more space so we need to get the acu helicopter over here and we need to get it to um go and tranquilize both of these guys you and you no problem and once they're tranquilized, then I need the um, the moving one to move them. So in it comes. Sorry guys, but you've got to be moved. Then we're not going to do that unless you're tranquilized. Down he goes. Okay, so while they're tranquilizing that one, let's get the transport team over here. If I can. And we're going to get you to move. You. Over. Into your new pen. Heading to collect the asset. I don't know how long they stay tranquilized for. And then after that, transport to Cthulhu. As well. And then I can decide what to do. I can either have, like, um, I have a lot of money at the moment. So I could see if I can put another uh, one of these hatcheries on the side of the carnivore pen, so we can do carnivores and herbivores at that point. This was a really good. This is a really good setup to start with. If you want carnivores and herbivores in there early on, and you don't have much money, and then that's fine. So I'm just like want to check on these these guys as they get moved. I 
And one thing I am actually thinking as well is I want a double gate. I know I'm very paranoid, but these are gigantic um, dinos. So one thing I kind of think I want here is uh, just a bit more of a... Fence. Hmm. Okay, I don't think it likes the road being there. So let's see if we can demolish the road a bit backwards. Asset transported. There, and then we can put a second three gate in because I'm like definitely thinking I don't want the gate to be open at the same time so we put like a little airlock in and that's fantastic are we done and okay so how are you guys are you happy in here yeah you're much happier with the population in here but the most, uh, the, they're quite happy that the pen is honestly probably bigger than it needs to be for them. I'm also going to put in a viewing gallery for them. Is that part of the enclosure thing? Um, won't be able to see much from there actually. Might need to put an electric like substation around here as well. So there's a viewing gallery. So we can see them up close. I'm gonna need the path to go around here. So I'm gonna need to uh, just destroy a few more trees. The forest. I'm actually glad that when I'm removing trees and I'm, that I can't accidentally remove the fences. That would be terrible. So put in a new path there and we're going to curve it around like this. Oh, Sheila, you built your thing the wrong way round. Good grief. Okay, I've already put dinos in there as well. Okay, this could be terrible, but we'll see. Yep. Oh, good. It puts the fence back in. The fence never gets removed. That's a good thing to know. <sighs> I don't know. So, rotate. That's better. And then we get the path linked up as well. Science requires not only experimentation, but observation. And with you, I like what I see. Keep it up. I don't like the way this path is going either, so we're just going to demolish that backwards and then we'll, we'll go from the viewing gallery out. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. So we've got a way in that hopefully... Okay, need a substation over here as well and we need to um, connect up all the power lines too. That's fine, I don't mind doing that. Get you over there. Connect it all up. Beautiful. The viewing gallery, here we go. And I think as well, I might want to put, if I can, I don't know if I can. Ooh, a science centre. Prime destination for park visitors from the scientific community. Storm defence, ACU, ranger. No. Huh. 
Hammond Creation Lab. Right, here we are. So we can put another Creation Lab there. Surely that needs to be... Turned around. Doesn't fit very well, does it? There would be the obvious place. So let's just deforest this little bit here. And see if that's what's causing the obstruction. I would like to have this in here. I'm fairly certain it needs to be this way around. It's completely obstructed for some reason. Don't understand what it's doing. It's like being really weird. Maybe over here then. Over here? Okay, that fits. I might need to change where my trees are for them. I'm going to need to put like a, uh, a way into here. And I'm actually thinking just connecting through here would be better. So again, more deforestation. I am I am bad deforesting Shelab. If I get rid of like all the trees kind of around the hotel there, we can just like pop another path down. I know everyone in the hotel's like, but we liked our our trees, but oh well, never mind. So they get to be right by the carnivore pen. Woohoo! So yeah, they've got a nice big pen there. Probably a bit too big for them. So now um uh, I need to pick up another dead dinosaur. A C U no transport team. Transport team. Let's remember that. En route to pick Remove up the, the pomp. So that's the first one of our Edmontosauruses to uh, to die. And so now I've got carnivores and herbivores completely separated from each other. We can start demolishing the fences. You can have more room, guys. Uh huh. I definitely think that uh, when it comes to like um, the next island where I think there will be storms and things, I'm thinking I might want like a double fence possibly, so that if a part of the fence gets like removed um, or beaten up by a dinosaur or whatever, then we can sort that out. So yeah, there we are. They've got loads more room now. So let's see how how they're looking. So even so. Even with all this extra room, they still don't want much more of a population in here. Hmm. So the these guys may need to be separated. I may need to. It's a shame because I like the Triceratops like running around with everything else, but they might just not be very happy. I'm going to make some more of these Struthiomimuses. Okay, so now let's go to the fossil centre and see how we're doing for Draco Rex. How are we doing for Draco Rex? We've got another fossil. Yes, we might be able to get a viable one soon. And Draco Rex Amber. Oh, that's always good. You always get a good amount from that. So I'm hoping I might get the 14% I need. But I'm still going to send another expedition out to Draco Rex land. To Frenchman formation. Are 
But yeah, it's nice to be able to just release them straight out and not have to worry anymore about like messing around with all the gates. I think that's really good. Right, it's saying there's a dead dinosaur. I'm not sure if that's the one we just picked up or whether there's another one dead. Oh, bubbles! No! So I want a couple more Edmontosauruses, really. To replace the ones... So I can maybe get some ones, uh, some slightly genetically modified ones now. Have a look at the Edmontosaurus gen genetic modifications. I can't believe I'm still not done with this island. Are we really not even at three stars anymore? This is awful. Like, because everything's dying. Literally got all these work on that contract. All these dead dinos. Let's incubate some more um, Edmontosauruses and modify their genome. Maybe see if I can make them live a bit longer. But I seem to be doing worse in this park than I was before. Robust digestion will give you extra resilience. Sounds good. So I'd better, I'd better okay that in actually, hadn't I? Apply. Um, cardio strength, which will give you a bit of extra via no lifespan. Good. And then a locked one. Okay. So we've got a skin color one. We don't have anything for them for skin, but that's fine. They already look quite pretty. They already have a rating of eighteen, so that's cool. So we've got fossils that have been found. Fantastic. The security division owes you one. That's great. Oh man. I was in the middle of modifying that genome for the Amontosaurus. Hopefully that all's still stuck. Yeah, it has cool. Let's go and make two of you then. Okay, we've got three dead dinosaurs here at the moment. That's not helping my park rating whatsoever. Let's go and get rid of them. So transport team, please go and remove high on lullabies and bubbles. And then we'll go and get Trist fallen as well. So they need to be removed from my park. So um, two Edmontosauruses and one of the Struthia Mimaxes is, is gone. Hoping that they haven't died because their feeders were like empty or anything. No, there's definitely a feeder there working, and there's a feeder there working. I might give them one more feeder actually. It's not gonna hurt. I think they are all low ground herbivores. I'm fairly certain. Pop one down, just down by there. Making a good profit, the guests are happy. So Draco Rex, I think you may be viable now. So let's have a look at how viable. Whether we have any more fossils for you. Here we do. Nice. And it is at 60%. Very good. More expeditions are always good. So we could try and get some more Struthia Mimex. Jeans or something like that, or just just anything really. Yeah, just do do a little bit of everything. Great. So for some reason, um, they're not as happy with me at the moment. There's not as many dinosaurs as there was, and the food and drink rating is absolutely terrible, as is the fun rating and the shopping rating. I think that might be because the the park has expanded, but they haven't put more places to eat and drink in, which so that's probably what's caused that. So I'm thinking what we might want to do is to just trim back some of the trees over here and put in some more stuff. Uh, so trim back the trees. And we'll get some more like food and drink places and shops and stuff in here. Don't want to trim the trees back too much, but... Uh, We've got a hotel. 
I want a gift shop. I don't think we even have a gift shop so far, do we? We've got a clothes shop, but I don't think I even put in a gift shop. So we will sort some of these issues out now. And then I'll also put in another, like, fast food shop or something. Clothes, fast food. We don't have monorail, arcade, toys. There's loads of loads and loads and loads of stuff that I can't actually do at the moment. But another fast food place. I'm going to end up possibly needing another power plant. But there's lots of people around here, so I'm thinking this probably is what they want. And then we could put in another clothes shop as well. That. So then I need to put some paths in. And hopefully this will make it a little bit nicer for them. Um, I don't know where the path is meant to go there. Pop it there and hope for the best. The gift shop is saying no substation, so you will get a substation in here, I think, as well. Hmm. Please tell me you can fit in there, surely. There you go. Connect up to that. Nice. Right, so we've got some paths not connected, but I'm quite happy to put them in. So yeah, so I'm hoping that will have increased my park rating quite significantly, that they'll be really happy. Yes. Oh yes, they are very happy with that. Cool. Facility rating is now up to five. Food and drink is up really high. Dinosaur visibility could be incre in improved as per transport, but that's going to be monorails and stuff like that. They're loving being able to see the carnivores in there, I think. Fantastic. Right, so what next? I need to get this to four. It's definitely the dinosaur rating that's holding me back. So, base rating across my 15 dinosaurs is 312, authenticity is 45, modification is 37, combat infamy, welfare penalty and variety penalty. So if I keep them badly, then that, yeah, okay. More dinos, more awesome dinos. One thing that will give me a massive... The science division is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. I don't need a storm defense. To, no, I don't. Not on this island, I don't. Um... So what I do need is more dinos that are awesome. And I also apparently need a substation over here. Alright then, okay, let's do this. Substation. Right there. Power lines everywhere now. Never mind. Requires power. Power consumption zero. What? We need another power station. Unused power two. I think we might be out of power. So I might put another power station over here. I don't know if that will need a path to it or whether it's happy just out on its own. It will just take the jeeps out there or something. There's definitely room out here for other enclosures around this sort of area. If I just deforest it a little bit. There's a lot of room here. I thought there was not very much room here, but there's actually loads. Loads of room. 
So if I wanted to, I could move the Triceratops like out into a different uh, pen. They could have their own pen, and then they wouldn't be so worried about the population. More dead dinos. Oh man, there's so many dying right now. All of my Edmontosauruses, because I've got them all at the same sort of time. Okay, uh, one thing at once then. Transport. A dead dino. Asset to be collected. I just want this fourth star. That's, I'm not asking for much, you know? But obviously where I've expanded the park, it's meant other things need to be done and... You know, the, the people need to be kept happy, but the dinosaurs are, at the moment, the thing that's causing me the issue. I think another Ceratosaurus is going to help me massively with that. So that's what I'm going to make. Hatchery offline? What? Why is it still offline? Why is it still not got any power? I don't understand. I put a substation right by it. Like, why would that have no power? Transporting asset. Okay, let's see if I need to put a path around. Yeah, I do. Oh, for sure. Frustrating. So I'm guessing it's not producing any power at the moment. Because it's not got a path. So we'll just do that. So now it's got a path. And then hopefully that means that that will be online because it's now producing power. Fantastic. Let's get me another Ceratosaurus in, please. So at the moment they're a little bit um they don't want I don't think they want to be in social groups bigger than two. But I don't think that they're too worried about their their pen being maybe split up. I'll have to see what I think about that. Because I actually think they need a much smaller pen than they've got. I think that's why I'm struggling with them. I think uh, I could easily split that pen into two. Put some more water down and have two lots of these guys. And I could ha if I split it down the middle where the viewing gallery is and they can still see them. actually thinking that would be a good thing to do. Maybe not, maybe it needs to be like round here or something. It's too close to a dinosaur. Man. Get out of the way, dinosaur. Definitely kind of thinking I could just do something like this. Make it kind of interesting, actually. Why is it obstructed? There we are. So they've still got a little bit of water there. And there's some trees and stuff over there. And then I can have some more Ceratosauruses in a different pen. <clears throat> And that might work quite nicely. So if I have two more, that should help massively because they're really, really good um, as far as their rating is concerned. They're like 84 rating, which is like more than a lot of the other dinosaurs combined. So I think if I have a couple of these guys, that should shoot my dinosaur rating right up and I'll hopefully get my four stars that I need. This is a very long episode, so I really, really, really want to get this four stars. Need a gate in here, don't I? Just in case I need to take them away for anything. Rangers can access them as well. So these guys don't have enough trees anymore, so I'm gonna pop a couple of trees in. But they they just seemed like they had like too much room. 
and it was causing them actually causing them issues you know there we are so social and population they don't want to be in big social groups they want to be in like groups of two but like they're not worried about the population or anything they don't have enough grass what what right i need to take away a bit of the water i think we've got too much water for them water remove there we are so you can go to the water you've got enough there Plenty of water. Still not enough grassland. What? Okay. Give you some more then, shall we? Might be that I do need to give them more room. What are you doing now? You still don't have enough grassland. Alright, okay. I'm trying to balance everything you see. So they do definitely need a bigger pen then. But I'm worried that I'm going to need to have so many massive pens then. I'll just destroy this fence. There's no need for it then. They definitely need a bigger space. Yes, I want to demolish the gate. I was just trying something. I was trying splitting up their pen, but their pet that doesn't work because then they don't have enough grassland. They've only just got enough grassland now. So they were very uncomfortable with any less space than this. So that's the thing to remember. They do need a lot of space. Um, and they get annoyed if they have too many mates. So I'm just going to release this one in here and see how they do and see if I need to make them another pen. But I may have to, I may have to continue this one next time. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, you look beautiful. You look lovely. Hello. Rawr. They might have to just be a little bit squished in with like three or four of them. Alright, so their social isn't too bad there, actually. Okay, they want... Yeah, three seems to be the maximum. So they're going to be a little bit uncomfortable having four of them in there. I'm still going to do it. I may need to make another pen for these guys. We'll see. So my dinosaur rating should be like right up now. Still at two and a half. Wow. Okay, so we still need more, 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 more dinosaurs. So more of these um, Edmontosaurus. It's because a lot of them are dying at the moment. It's causing me issues. Ugh. Okay, so I am going to have to finish this off next time, I think. We've got some um, Edmontosauruses ready to release. So we'll just quickly do that, and then I will end the episode there, I think. Trying to get this fourth star without um, so many of the park things and so many of the genetic things and all that sort of thing is, is a bit difficult without fighting them, because I really don't want to fight them. I don't really want to be having to release little tiny dinosaurs for the carnivores to eat and stuff like that. I don't really want to be making them food. I don't mind them having goats, but like... Okay, so the Admontosaurus is definitely like... Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. Yeah, okay, I'm sure we can have no power outages for that time. I'm gonna make more Admontosauruses. I'm not going to name them at the moment because I think I am going to move island very soon. I'm, I'm hoping to just pump out tons and tons of dinosaurs and to allow that to make the park really good. I'm hoping I don't get a, a welfare penalty for having too many ceratosauruses in one pen though. Oh, power outages. So, another Edmontosaurus. We are getting towards that. 17 dinosaurs. I reckon if we could get to 20 dinosaurs, we might be we might be cooking with fire then. So I'm going to finish this off next time. We'll get to the fourth star, hopefully. Um, I have spent a lot of episodes on this particular island, but I think it'll be good to get that second island unlocked, and I think it'll be very, very soon. Um, once I've got this particular one sorted, it will be very soon before uh, we get that second island unlocked. 
and that means that I can go and do that one as well. I could have been, I could have got four stars on the next island and that maybe would have been easier, I'm not sure. So I'm going to just try and get up to like 20, 25 dinosaurs into these pens and then we'll see how we do. We might need to build one more pen for the carnivals because they do give me really good ratings. Look at all the people going to the carnivals, see? And look at all the people going to the herbivores. See? Uh, the viewing platform. But actually, the herbivore viewing platform isn't bad, but the carnivals definitely draw more people. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more of my dinosaur park, then please do subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.